We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. This is now Mark. Mark says after living with his RBH Impression Series towers for a few months now, he'd like to measure their frequency response to get a better idea of how they're performing in his room. Now, I mean, you can go online and find anechoic measurements of these speakers or, you know, right. those sorts of things. But he wants to know how they're doing in his room. So he yeah. downloaded Room EQ Q Wizard, but he finds it a little bit complicated to use. Is there an easy tutorial that – tutorial? Tutorial? tutorial we can recommend for him to follow i don't know where that i came from uh that we can recommend for him to follow or is there maybe a simpler piece of software that we recommend instead of rew or room eq wizard well the simpler does as far as i know does not really exist that i can i mean you could you could just do it all on your phone that you could (sighs) Um, what microphone are you gonna use for that? I mean, well, you'd get that you'd get that Dayton IMM six, yeah, uh, from Parts Express, and then right there they recommend what app to use with right. that microphone. Uh, but I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't I don't oh, I guess you could screen capture it right instead of printing. You just you just screen capture it. I suppose. Yeah. I mean, so I mean that. Yeah, I mean he's saying is there an alternative? There there is that. Um, but there's lots of guides out there from Guru Wizard. And it's really, yeah. it, the learning curve on that thing is not that steep. It is a little, when you first look at it, there's buttons everywhere and stuff like that. You oh, will, and there's tons of options. You yeah. will literally use, you will, after you get the settings correct, you will use like two buttons, two things on that thing. You know, not, not maybe not literally. But it will be, you will do very, very little. So I would uh, highly recommend just, just, there's got to be a video out there uh, that takes you through it. Yeah, so uh, Glenn, I think it's Kuros, you pronounce I'm not sure no, no, no. exactly how to pronounce his last name, but from GIK Acoustics, from Gig Acoustics. Right, right. He put out a tutorial. Now, he was primarily in this tutorial focusing on the bass, which makes sense because sure. most of the time people are looking to measure and adapt their bass uh, both by adding bass traps and by using you know an external EQ like the Mini DSP. Uh, however, it's still applicable because when he's when he's showing you how to set the limits of what frequencies you're looking at, if you want to look at the mid range and treble instead of the bass, it's simple enough. The, the same method applies. You right, just right. plug in different numbers. So right. I think that tutorial will give you a nice start. It shows you how to first make sure that you are um, calibrated. I I maybe I guess that's the right word. I mean, calibrated in the sense that your mic is showing correct levels right, on the screen, right, 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 right. and then uh, how to set up your basic frequency response graph and your waterfall graph. I want to be honest with those. you. I that, believe that's where you start. That when I first started using Ruby Q Wizard, I watched that video. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I think it's been that, out there a while. <laughs> I think that that's how I learned it. And yeah, believe me, I. Have, I, I every time I use Rumor Q Wizard, I have to go back and relearn it because it's been I, I use it so infrequently. So right. it, you can do it. You can do it, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. that that tutorial video combined with uh, Rumor Q Wizard's own help section on their website because it's actually really well written. That yeah. help section, and if I mean it's you know obviously it takes time. It's a long, lengthy thing to read through, but if you read through it. The information is all there, and it's nicely written. It's not; it doesn't go super technical or mathematical or something like that. It can be followed. So between those two things, I think that's the way to go. Okay. Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. AV Rant. Now go out and listen to something.